I'm going to show you how to make a text render in Scratch 3. The previous video was on text render in Scratch 2. So this is the updated version. So let's name the sprite to text render. Make a sprite. And you should have costumes from A to Z. As you can see I have all. And all should be in the center with a particular box filled like the one pixel from the center for the width and one pixel from the center for the height should be the maximum so the letters like M and W should have decreased size or they can extend we cannot do anything for them and also the numbers from 1 to 9 and then 0 in the same place and also a empty sprite a empty costume named uh, space just name it and space and let's start with coding so the green flag clicked broadcast start and when I receive start then uh, make a block call it uh, render with the text input and then spacing with a uh, spacing text input and run screen without refresh should be checked ok then make a variable called anchor for this sprite only or for all sprites as you require it make it hidden set anchor to zero then make a variable called text or leave it just uh, one repeat length of text this once change anchor by one and then create clone of myself just move 10 steps here and when I start as a clone I'll just switch to costume the letter letter anchor of text when I start as a clone just show so this might work then put the render here render something like text sample with spacing of say 12 12 steps and put the spacing here and put this in a forever loop or let it be let's see so it is rendering only a only a so um we should put it here now let's click and go to x 0 and y 0 and type this in capital text to sample so it is working but it is up and down you can change the position of these letters accordingly so I can also put your space and green flag clicked so it is working also you can increase the space 15 so now this is looking better you can add some try something else like hey guys and let's see so it's working you can also see the typing go to edit and uncheck the run screen without refresh so you can see it is getting typed and you can turn it back on if you want quick results 
like this you can also add a variable here like text to render for all sprites and put it here and instead set it to something like start the game so as you can see it is working thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial